Have you been trying for pregnancy? Are you hesitant to undergo fertility tests? You know about 10 to 15 percent of couple who are trying for pregnancy are infertile or subfertile. What do you mean by fertility tests, evaluation tests or any other analysis? The most common misconception that we have in India here is suppose if a man is able to have intercourse that means everything is normal with him. Absolutely, there won't be any abnormalities with him. This is the most common misconception that men have. How do we overcome this? When such thing happens, we usually get a semen analysis done. Semen analysis means it is a test of fertility for a man. What happens here is we test the ejaculate sample for the presence of sperms, the number of sperms, that's the count. Motility means how fast the sperms are moving and thirdly normal forms. Normal forms means a sperm should have a normal head, neck and proper tail. So we assess all of this. So once we are through the assessment then we give them a report and say whether it is normal, abnormal or any part that has been subnormal. So it's a totally a different thing that you are able to have intercourse and yet your sperm count can be low. That's a possibility. Sometimes the sperm volume, the ejaculate also will be low. So these are the instances when you need to get the fertility test done. Now we find abnormalities in the semen essay, semen analysis. How do we go forward? We go further, we get a scan done around the testicular area, the scrotal area and see if there are any abnormal veins or what is the size of testis. Is there any signs of any tumor or any growth or any water filled areas in the testis which could lead to sperm abnormality. These are the axillary tests which is done in men for the fertility evaluation. So many a times it has happened that couple come for first consultation. They just come and say, doctor we are trying for pregnancy. You know, everything is fine with us. I am able to have intercourse properly. We are doing it right on time from day 10 to day 20. We are doing it, but yet this is not happening. You know, I'm a teetotaler. I don't smoke. I don't drink. I follow a perfectly healthy lifestyle. In such people, sometimes tests, fertility tests like sperm analysis turns out to be abnormal. So these are the instances where physical and the test would not be correlating. Now, how do we evaluate a woman. The most important thing is her menstrual history. Suppose if she is getting her cycles regularly, what I mean by regular cycles is 27, 28 days plus or minus 7 days is perfectly acceptable with good flow, good flow of menstrual cycle during the menstrual cycle. It should not be very scanty period or there should not be any excessive period. Once she gets her cycles regularly and everything is fine and yet if she's not able to conceive when she comes visits us for the first time we do a baseline scan scanning of reproductive organs so what i mean by reproductive organs in a woman is uterus tubes and the ovaries so when we do a scan what do we look at we look at the uterus whether the size of the uterus is okay if there are any other extra growths in the uterus like fibroids if the fibroids are there what is the size of fibroid? Is it going to significantly impact the fertility and the ovaries? So we check the ovaries to see whether she is having antral follicles. Antral follicles are basically her ovarian reserve. So in the ultrasound, we test her ovarian reserve. If she is having polycystic ovaries or not, or if her ovaries are on the other spectrum, that is the low ovarian reserve, or any other cysts in the ovaries, like a simple cyst, and most rarely, maybe about endometriotic cyst also can be picked up in the scan. Scanning is a very important tool. So many a times it has happened, they have come to me for the first consultation. Irregular period they would have missed the period and they would have reached out out of desperation. The most important thing is when we do a scan, there could be a pregnancy there. So all sorts of things happen. So ultrasound evaluation is a very important tool for fertility testing. Now these are, these are not painful testing. Along with the scan, we do hormonal analysis in women. What do you mean by hormonal analysis? We try and check her FSH levels, LH levels, estradiol levels, and AMH. AMH basically tells us the ovarian reserve. So when we are through all this, then we suggest them the ideal treatment for that particular couple. Now despite doing everything, in case if there is no pregnancy, we advise them to go ahead with tubal evaluation. Tubal evaluation, multiple methods are there. One is done in the diagnostic center, we call it as HSG. One, we can do it ourselves 
which is in our center that we call it as SSG or HICO-C where we check for the tubes and check whether the tubes are open or not by pushing saline through the uterus. So this tells us whether the tubes are open or not. The gold standard method to check whether the tubes are open or not is by doing a laparoscopy. Laparoscopy is nothing but you put a small camera in the abdominal cavity and see whether the tubes are open or not, see whether the tubes are healthy or not. After doing various fertility tests, then we come to a conclusion that this could be one of the reason why there is delay in pregnancy and work towards it. Proper treatment needs proper diagnosis. If we have to have success in whatever we are doing, evaluation is a must and when you identify a problem, your treatment becomes much successful. We at Janista are there to help you, help you achieve your dreams, help you, you know, reach the doors towards parenthood. You're always welcome.